Welcome to the Robbie Rowe Vlog, Episode 3, Start Day. So it's Wednesday, start day Thursday. I was watching the vlog that I did the first time, and even though I thought it was super dope because it was me, I did see that uh, I didn't do a good job of like explaining on each video like what time it was and where it was, especially when I'm like prepping for a specific time, right? So like tomorrow at 6:45 is my start date, so I got to do a better job of updating with time. So it's Wednesday, so start day tomorrow, and it's 11. Um. I'm gonna go to the field today. I gotta do laundry, check this out. Literally, like, all four of those are laundry. And I don't have any clothes left. I had to work out last night in a going out shirt. <laughs> and I don't go out. <laughs> There's a guy on a roof over there, man. They're really getting it. Really getting it out there. The, the day before start day, it's more like mental preparation than anything. Like. Physical preparation for me is more like the other days in between. Day before is like, I gotta lock in mentally, right? So that's why I'm trying to do, get all my stuff done relatively early, and then I could have, you know, the, uh, the night to really lock in. Okay, well, this was boring. Sorry, talk to you guys later. I'm telling you. Once I get it to the point where it's like, it's not gonna be nasty, but if I can just get it to the point where it's a strike. You go 12-6 and yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People are just gonna go, what? You Darvish type shit. Dude, you Darvish might be one of the best pitchers in the big league. He went, he went eight shutout. Dude, he shut. Do you think he thinks that he's not warm? That's my question. Like, what is it in his brain that says, no, 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 bands. No, band pulls. Ooh, set the scat. Good. Mmm, Johnny Cash. I mean, I get it. I get it if, like, we're, you're old like us, you know? Yeah. But, like, if you're freaking 18, how do you need that much? Now the shot's ruined. Is this thing on? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Thank you. 
well, there's a lot that I was tempted to show you, but again, after watching the first vlog, I was like, why did I even do an update there? Like that made no, like made no sense to do an update there. Um, so I'm trying to just give you the good. So night before start, okay, so it's Wednesday, start day's Thursday. I uh, scootered over to Chipotle, got Chipotle, um, watched two innings, three innings of the game, and then left. And now at night, I just got uh, back from the hot tub, showered, hot tub, try to central nervous system down regulation, right? I just try to sound smart. <laughs> All right, so now what I do, so it's about 10.38, try to be asleep by like 11.30 midnight. Um, but what, I, what I'll do now is I'll do a really light uh, kind of like mobility series and then get in bed, answer some emails, watch a game, one nice thing about the East Coast, right? Like it could be super late and all the West Coast games are like in the middle of their game. Um, but yeah, do a little mobility series here. Again, light, don't want to freaking hammer like pails, rails, bunch of FRC stuff, but I do want to ease the tension, right? And I'll show you what goes into it tomorrow. All right, another pointless update. <laughs> Okie dokie, on that note, I'm bald, both my face and my head. Ugh, see ya. Yeah, yeah, start day. Ugh. I just woke up. Good night's sleep. Let's see how good. 77? What the heck? Eight hours and four minutes of sleep. What's wrong with the sleep? Body temperature elevated. I knew it was going to be after that hot tub because I could not stop sweating. Uh, heart rate variability, 120 max. My lowest resting heart rate last night was 35. I'm a zombie. REM sleep, 123. Deep sleep, 228. Got the deep sleep back. Got the weighted blanket back. We Gucci. Alright, let's change that. Okay, so as soon as I wake up, this is all mornings kind of, at least I try, because I have ice water from the night before. I try to chug it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Tip for tap. If you want to throw a lemon in there, it makes it even better. Roll over to the window, circadian rhythmicity. We need light, we need light movement and food. In this case, we'll get a little bit of movement in. I had to get espresso maker. I think I told you guys last time, right? I was tired of getting a freaking $4 coffee because they always ask for a tip at the end. They don't ask, but like the, the prompter says, and I can't say no. I feel too rude. So, okay. Cafe Bustello or La Vazada. I speak English. Okay. Gets you going, man. Smell that. Oh. oh, life. Look at that. It gives you a little press down thing. I didn't even realize that. Oh, that's dope. Read a devotional. Thank God for this beautiful day and this beautiful opportunity to 
have a good day and drink my coffee, my mindfulness practice, meditation. Talk to you guys in a little bit. See ya. go off on a limb and say something went wrong. Yeah, I'll have to fix that. Plans change. Things backfire, right? Just like an outing. You could have a plan. You're excited about that plan. That plan doesn't get executed. You gotta adapt. You can't just wallow, is that a word? In your own pity people feel sorry for you. No one's gonna feel sorry for you. No one's gonna feel sorry for me that I was extremely excited about my new espresso maker and I freaking blew it up. You move on. Adapt or die. Learning experience. Learning curves, life, and motivation stuff. So now I'm gonna go to the coffee shop and spend another $4 with a tip. To the coffee shop. I go. It is 105. 105. It's 105. Um, probably gonna try to get to the field. 6:45 first pitch. Probably get to the field at five o'clock. Uh, I'm gonna set up my rap soto in the bullpen, and I'm gonna have a buddy set up the pocket radar in the stand. So I'm trying to get like all my stuff organized i got two ipads here trying to figure out which ipad and which phone i got a phone there a phone over there a phone over there which ipad is going to be used to record the the rap soto which ipad is going to be used to record the pocket radar um whoa but i gotta make sure everything's charged because last time my camera died in the second inning <laughs> That's your boy's fault. Uh, but check it out. I got a new like little thing, a little setup over here. Hopefully the hotel people don't get mad because the desk was over here by the scooter section and then I just flip flop because I wanted more light. I needed more sun's energy on me. But uh, I'm gonna get to work. I got like two, I think two or three analysis clients uh, that I gotta get to. Um, I like doing it, so I'm gonna do it. And then probably around Three, so give me about two hours I'll get some food and then uh, again I like to do like a 30 minute meditation session before I leave so I'll probably hit that around 4 425 um, and then I'll get like 20 minutes of scooter meditation in after my meal and then we'll catch back with you guys probably uh, sometime when I'm at the field so <laughs> okay hey Dude, talk about impeccable timing with, not the towels, the stirrups order. We're back. Ooh. So our team is blue and green. So I got green soccer socks with blue stirrups with white. Oh, dude. I got, all right, so these are nine inch rups. Nine inches, and then these are seven inches, but with white stripes, and then sannies, and then green soccer socks, and then I guess I got pants. What? Oh, hey, I'm back real quick. Um, and proven for sports supplements, I still don't have like a knife. Actually. Discount code Robbie gets you. Yes. Best part about boxes. Got some pre workout. What flavor? Cherry limeade? Watermelon pre workout? Ooh, raspberry pre workout? Energy formula? Energy formula? Raspberry recovery formula. Get yourself some. The, the blue raspberry pre-workout, best freaking pre-workout pre ever, and it's NSF certified. Everything's NSF certified. 
more bubble wrap. Yay. I always shave my head on start day and it's already 4 22. Mm. Pro tip on start day, never feel rushed. Anytime you're rushed, anxiety comes in <laughs> and you don't want to feel that. You don't want to feel anxious, even though that's going to be a common emotion on start day. Try to limit the amount of anxiousness you can get. We got a vote. Uh, I voted uh, the fans which stirrup should I wear tonight and I'm surprised that a majority, I mean, 80-20 on the seven inchers with white stripes. So. All right, a little stirrup lesson, a little stirrup tutorial. You got to find out which side is longer. And when the higher you get up in inches, right, so typical stirrups are four inches. These ones are seven and those ones are nine. The higher you get up, the, the more that you can see, like, this side's obviously higher. So that's going to go in the back. Now, a little tip for those interested in rocking some swag rups, I would encourage you to tape the bottom because I can't tell you how many times early in my career I didn't tape the bottoms and these things would just fall out of the cleat and then I look like a real doofus. But I would do that right now. I don't have any friggin' tape. Wait, do I? I always have tape in my bag, and uh, yeah, no, no, I don't. I mean, come on, freaking, you look good, you feel better, and you play doper. What? Don't quote me on that. Like, I would love to wear this glove every outing because it's got the Robbie Rose show on it. And it's got Robbie Row 1 2 on it. But I don't know what happened. I don't know what state of mind I was in when I formed this thing. But this is not how I form gloves. That is not it. If you look at all my gloves, like big, wide base with finger curls. Like I said, I don't know what happened. But it did happen. I don't know why I'm so anal about color coordination. Um, what else do I have to do? I gotta sh shave my head. Ship. Works with great. So, I think I'm still okay. Like I said, it's 440. I wanted to be there at 5, but the only reason I wanted to get there early was because I'm gonna set up the wrap Soto in the bullpen, and I just wanted to make sure I wasn't rushing throughout that whole process, because then it's really not going to look good, right? It's really not going to look good if you're trying to set that up and it's a zoo and you're freaking struggling with Wi-Fi and calibration. So I just wanted a bunch of time. My catch play on start day, you'll see it, but very, very quick. I get out to probably 300 feet in 68 seconds. You guys want to quote me on that and we'll time it? All right, well hate that I you can see the, like I just have no chin so it looks like a double chin I mean it is a double chin frick we're ready like someone's coming so this stuff it's music it's me fired up dudes we did so well with the uh, red lights I think we only we were like Man, we were one for seven. Let's get it. Mm. Oh. Don't put a mask on when you got a toothpick in. Rule number one. Let's get it. Man, I'm still freaking like a 12 year old kid showing up to the Little League field. Oh, just those feelings like, it's when you know you're, you know you're doing something that you're supposed to be doing, I feel like. Ooh. Write that down, it's pretty good.
He did it too. No, no, no. no that Man, well, I won't lie, I got tired. Um, four innings, yikes. It seems so little, but it was so much. <laughs> Grinded through it. These are some super dope slow-mos. My guy Braxton hooked it up. Um, he's the one on the team that's helping me film and all this stuff, and he's been fantastic with even getting these slow-mos. Like, third baseline, like, what a guy. But, uh, yeah, you're about to hear a recap from me, so I'll stop talking. I just didn't want so much silence. <laughs> Stir up, swag. Oh, oh, Ugh. not gonna lie. Um, what was I saying? Not gonna lie, I got absolutely gassed. 70 pitches in four innings. You know, as much as you wish every outing that you throw, you just you just wish it was coasting, you know, that there's just like, yeah, I'm chilling, dude, like, boom, boom, putting it where you want. Honestly, it's that that grinding of like, oh man, I can't like locate an off-speed pitch, like I can't, not missing any barrels or whatever the case may be, you kind of find like joy in that, like, all right, let's see what I'm made of, you know, and when you're away from the game, for two years, like I was, I found joy in that, and I'm, I'm actually like really 
pleased at that part because I think when I was younger, you know, it was about denying that, like, you're out there knowing full well that you don't have your best stuff and dreading that and really grinding to, like, find your best stuff. Obviously, we're all going to try to do that, right? But, like, tonight it was more about just accepting it subtly and being like, this is fun, dude. Like, how good am I now, right? And I was just amping myself up. Uh, quick recap, slider early in counts I thought were good. Uh, one big, big negative takeaway was my inability to put the fastball up in the zone. I think three big mistakes were all fastball that was supposed to be up that were not up, freaking center cut, and they killed me. And then um, two out walk to the nine hole hitter. Wow, that's two outings in a row. I'm making a trend of that, huh? Those kill me. Those kill me. But all in all, I threw 70 pitches in a freaking professional game. Like that's, that's freaking sweet. You know? My hat was sweaty. It smells great. And we made it. That was fun. Baseball's fun. A lot of grinding, right? It wasn't in the windup that much. A lot of stretch work. Got to hold guys. There's a lot of cool things about tonight. Didn't throw a freaking changeup. I'm so soft. Man, my changeup all week has been feeling freaking money bags and then was feeling pretty decent warm ups. And then, like, anytime you, I, it was maybe a right at time to call out or throw a changeup, it was just like eh, hesitant. And then, as soon as I had that, it was like, get over it. Nope, not throwing it. So, I need to, my next bullpen's gonna be really good. My next, I'm really excited for the next bullpen. I'm trying to figure out when my next start day will be. I'm assuming it will be Wednesday. So my next bullpen, man, it's going to be great. Freaking heaters, four seamers up in the zone on command, right? Anytime I want up in the zone, let's ride. Because, dude, when my heater's up in the zone, like, it plays. And then, um, and then change up. I got to get, my cutter was not there today, which is crazy because Usually my cutter is like always there, and I think what what's happening is I'm throwing so much slider that they're starting to like mold together, and I, I don't want that. I gotta get back to gotta get back to the goodness of the cutter. I, I really could have used it tonight, one o two one, and it just wasn't there. But all in all, fun four innings, one run, right? One earn, one earn run, four punchies. I thought I was gonna have way more punchies, dude. I think I had two in the first. Yeah, how about that start to a game? <laughs> Bases loaded, no outs. Good luck, bud. And then I put chapstick on, and it was like. I mean, you gotta kind of find joy in those moments, though, right? Like that competition. Like, let's go, let's ride, dude. You versus me. Let's go. You got you got guys in scoring position. I'm grinding. I think that's fun. All right. Well. That's another edition of the Robbie Rose Show vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that footage turned out. My buddy said that uh, he was grinding with figuring out why the focus was the fence. But, uh, cool. All right. Well, love you guys. If you haven't yet to subscribe to all my stuff, you better or we'll fight him. Until next time, I'm out. Thanks for the support. Okay, I'm going to be sore.